Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today you're joining me at Gardens of Babylon here in Nashville, and I am doing some plant shopping. So this place is so cool. So I thought I would bring you guys along, show you the nursery, the plants that I'm picking up, and where we put them in our house. So if you haven't seen, I filmed a plant collection tour video a couple of months ago. I'm gonna link that down below, and it shows you all of the plants in my house. And I've definitely learned a lot, but I've had some unfortunate plant deaths along the way. Not that many, I feel like my percentage is actually pretty good, but I've had some plant deaths, so those are the ones that I'm replacing today. So I walked through the nursery, um, was just admiring the amount of greenery they have, and then I found this gem. This is actually called, I believe, a Chinese money plant. It was pretty expensive, but I loved it, and it looked so great in my kitchen, as you'll see. And they sell seeds, and when I saw this plant collection up here, I, Dan and I both felt like this would be really pretty in our dining room. And here I am making a joke about it being emotional. But the joke was dumb, so I decided to mute myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the it's so cool at local plant place, places like this, and especially here at Gardens of Babylon. But the selection is just like so unique. Oh, there's Dan eating a random plant. Always the clan, clan, class clown. Um, and I said before, I really love places like Home Depot for plants. I feel like especially if you're a beginner, they're really awesome. But places like this, like Gardens of Babylon, are so unique and have such a great variety of plants and plant accessories, as you can see. And it's just a cool place to be able to explore different kinds of plants. And I've said this so many times, but this year, me discovering like plants around the house has like changed my home life. It's amazing how much greenery can just bring your whole home to light. That's why I'm doing that dance. <laughs> so then we got a couple of shots around the nursery just because I thought it was pretty and I wanted you guys to see what this place looks like. The other cool thing is as we were checking out of Gardens of Babylon, um, the woman took her time to explain a couple of things to Dan about especially his Venus flytrap. But um, oh, and I love this sign, so cute. <laughs> um, but that's pretty cool. They gave us some instructions and then we headed back to our trusty truck and loaded up the plants that we got. This was such a beautiful day, by the way. It was so fun to just decide, okay, it's time to update our plants and head to the plant shop. This is the Venus flytrap Dan got, by the way. He loved it. And unfortunately, one of the plants that died, and I just realized why, it's because of our air conditioning vent, was over here, it was the palm. So I replaced it with my fake fiddle leaf fig, which side note, I ended up moving it. I'm just leaving that space open. And then I put my Chinese money plant on the island in the kitchen. I'm hoping it will thrive there. And then we put this lipstick plant above the sink. So I actually had a lipstick plant here before and it was beautiful, but it didn't survive. And so I'm not sure if I was messing something up. I mean, I feel like learning to work with plants is just kind of a journey, like you can read on it, but sometimes you get a bad plant, sometimes you just mess up. So I love the look so much, we decided to get that same plant again. And then this plant, I did a lot of research on how to save it. It's got a strange name. It's called a wandering Jew. And apparently, on, as like what they're saying online, is those are just very hard plants to keep long term. So let me know if you have any tips because I'd love to own one in the future. And in the meantime, we replaced it with a pothos because we seem to have a lot of success with those plants. <laughs> so that's a pro tip. I feel like pothos are kind of a good place to start. So then we hung up another plant where I have wanted to plant for a while. It was that like polka dotted spotted pothos. And so he used his little specialty tool um, hook thingy. Side note, I actually just asked Dan and he said it's called a decorative ceiling hook that he purchased from Home Depot. And then we used this extra macrame we had lying around when I bought tons of macrame off Amazon. 
and use that to hang this plant up. And I loved it over here because of the long vines that it already has. So I'm excited to see them continue to grow longer and just turn my house into more of a jungle. I have a feeling it's gonna do well over there. By the way, he used some of that string to elongate the plant on um, where it was hanging. And yeah, that's it. So I hope that you guys liked today's video. Like I mentioned, I'll link my plant tour down below if you want to go check that out. I thought that video was really beautiful, if I do say so myself. So um, I'll see you guys back here soon. I have some really fun videos coming up. And yeah, okay, bye.